So this is a Van de Graaff generator. It's the kind of thing that hopefully you've seen at school. You might have seen your teacher demonstrating it, or maybe you've had a go on one yourself and had a few small electric shocks. Now, these are great fun. Uh, you know, the top of this goes up to like 100,000 volts. So it's a really, really high number, but it only discharges a relatively small current through your body. And therefore, for most people, it's quite safe. Unless, of course, you have some underlying heart condition. Anyway, I just thought I'd explain a little bit more about how this works, because all this is doing is really just allowing us to see static electricity in the lab and a few nice demonstrations. Now, when it comes to static electricity, all we're really doing is we're taking two insulators and we're rubbing them together. So it might be, for example, I take this balloon, I rub it on my hair, I charge it up, and then we have some static electricity as we've transferred some charges from my hair to the balloon. Now, all this is doing is this is just a machine that makes a lot of static electricity. And it does it in a very similar way by having insulators which are rubbing against each other. Now, on, on the inside, we've basically got uh, this kind of rubber belt here, and we've got some kind of polythene or different sort of uh, plastic rollers at the bottom. So we've got two insulators. And when we turn it on, even though it's plugged into the mains, it's not like it's mains electricity which is kind of being gathered at the top, all that means is that a motor at the bottom just spins this round. This one actually has a device where I can actually spin it around by hand, and therefore I can just show you that it's not actually the mains electricity which is causing uh, the kind of sparks at the top. So as I move the handle, we've got some friction there, and basically near the top is where we start to um, collect a load of charged particles. I think on this Van de Graaff here, the whole top becomes negative. Now if I put my finger near to it, oh, there's a little spark there, so I'll just turn it around a few more times. If I hold my hair near to it, you might see my hair is being attracted towards it. And I can definitely feel something. And again, even though I've just done this by hand, we can still see some of the effects of this static electricity. If I put my hand near to it, there's a small spark and it discharges. Now that's okay, but uh, obviously we want a bit more power. We want to kind of see uh, a lot more sparks. And all we can do then is just by plugging it into the mains, all we're going to do is cause that motor in the bottom to turn around and that just does it automatically. And the whole point in this, again, we're charging by friction, we're separating electrons from the rest of the atom, we're collecting all the electrons together, and we do that on this big dome at the very top. And if I turn this on, oh, you can hear the, the crackle as it's starting to kind of do things to the air. I can actually feel it um, because there's a really, really strong field around the Van de Graaff. And a field is a region where other things experience a force. In fact, I might just turn that off. Now, at the moment, this is still charged, but over time, because air is a very slight conductor of electricity, that charge can, again, dissipate into the air and then it discharges. I might just touch it with a ruler to help discharge it. So a Van de Graaff generator, there's some really nice demos you might have seen. Uh, in the other video, I had Barbie being... Um, kind of put on top and effectively when that happens it's a bit like me putting both my hands in it I just become an extension of the dome and that means rather than just the dome getting charged up all of me gets charged up and that means if I maybe have an overall negative charge all of the, my hair which is all negatively charged tries to kind of repel away from each other and that's why people's hair stands up you might have seen some demos where you've got things like um cases like this on the top that then fly off or maybe you've even got a, a kind of fairly risky teacher who's trying to light a Bunsen using the Van de Graaff. Anyway these things here they're a lot of fun and it's definitely something that you should see when you're doing your GCSEs because it's a really nice demonstration of static electricity.